So you had the classroom discussion um, and you learned something. Now, how do you make sure that you can actually use this later? Okay, well, what you will have noticed after the classroom discussion is that you had one idea about the case um, when you were preparing individually. And then you learned a few different things you hadn't thought about when you discuss it in a group. And I bet you, you'll find the same effect when you discuss it in the classroom. There were things you hadn't thought about and your perspectives get wider. And that's what learning is. So how do you capture that? Well, in a normal class, you would take notes. But you don't really have time to do that systematically in a case class and participate at the same time. Now, the teacher, if the teacher uses a board, will in a sense take notes for you. So you can bring up your cell phone and take a picture of those uh, notes. Uh, but, you know, you still need to sort of put the learning together and do a bit of reflection at the end. How do you do that? Well, because I focus so much on groups, actually, this is also what you do as a group. Okay. So after, after the case discussion, you sit together over a cup of coffee. It doesn't need to be a long time, just uh, five, ten minutes, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And you said, okay, did you hear something which we didn't think about? And you actually do a debrief within your group. It helps if you have a couple of keywords and when the keywords come from the board of the teacher, that would double help, of course. Mm -hmm. But you debrief a little bit, uh, not too long, debrief a little bit within your group. Similarly, for your after the, the case is over, and after the course is over, all this learning should not evaporate. It, it, should, it should be accessible for you also in the future. So one simple trick here is you have to, you can create for your files, your PowerPoints or your PDFs or whatever, a very long file title. For example, saying Coca-Cola case, keywords, and then you use three or four keywords. For example, uh, product costing, uh, uh, human control systems, and uh, employment. And later on, when you do searches, you say, well, remember, uh, I had this case in the past, Talking about better recognition, I had this case in the past, but I can't really remember it exactly. But I do a search and I find these debriefs and these case works back. So that means that your learning becomes not only stored, but also accessible for retrieval afterwards. So that's a bit of a trick. A key thing for, for, for group work here is also that you do not get into the nitty gritty of the discussion itself. The big picture that emerged, the interpretation that you heard from the discussion and that very likely is different from your interpretation. That interpretation, that big picture interpretation is actually the learning sentence or the learning capture. And writing that down or putting it somewhere in a file, and that is the, the whole issue. Keep the big picture, keep the core interpretation going. If you do that, there is also a side benefit to this because you have been working as a group, you have been discussing as a group, you have been debriefing as a group. It also means you have a routine to work as a team. And this is essential for MBAs because you work with people and through people. So you can later on get this skill of working in teams and the skill together of mining your own learning, going into the files and finding these things, as well as the process skills you have learned of learning together. These two things together are your closure elements. Now, if you think back to the beginning of, of, of this uh, little session, um, we talked about cases as a simulation, about pattern recognition, and you will find, and that's the key to all good learning, that you can actually practically use it in situations later. I have had many cases, so has Hanno, and I learn as a teacher and I've learned as a student previously. And frequently when I get into a situation where I have to advise a business on doing something, I think that's a little bit like that case. Yeah, I remember what were the issues then, okay? And that is always fruitful and helped me sort of navigate a complex situation. And that means you've learned something. So I guess it remains for, for me to wish you good luck for me too as well and i hope to see you not even not in the classroom well maybe online at some other moment thank you very much thank you